All right, welcome back. So we're gonna be taking a quick little break from our Tiahe 11 team previews, uh, of which I've already done Hakori. Talon should be up in the next few hours. Be on the lookout for that. But also throughout the next couple of weeks, I will be previewing every single team attending TI. So if that's something that interests you, uh, be on the lookout for that over the next couple of weeks. But we're taking a break from that because we have finally heard about what our format will be for the upcoming last chance qualifiers for TI, in which we will be whittling down the remaining 12 teams in contention for the TI slots down to just two. Um, so this tournament is going to be kicking off on October 8th, running for five days all the way up until October 12th. And this is essentially going to be a miniature tournament where we have a group stage and a double elimination bracket. So the 12 teams are being split into two groups of six. Uh, and as you can tell by teams marked by a blue star next to their name, uh, it is evenly split between teams that finish second place and third place in their regional qualifiers. So this was done completely objectively. And so even though maybe one group looks a little bit stronger than the other, uh, there was no handpicking going on in this. This was completely objective. So taking a look at our groups, uh, for group A, we have Team Secret, Beachy Gaming, Polaris, Navi, Nouns, previously known as Four Zoomers, and Tempest. And as you can see, Team Secret, Polaris, and Nouns being the ones that finished second place in their qualifiers. We then have group B with Team Liquid, Extreme Gaming, T1, Virtus Pro, who are now back under their original Elias. They will no longer be playing under uh, the Outsiders tag, Wildcard, and Infamous. And again, uh, Extreme Gaming, VP, and Infamous being the finalists from their own regions. And each and every one of these teams are gonna be playing against every other team in their group in a best of two. And from that, we will get a seeding of teams from one all the way down to six. Uh, and it is pretty crucial that you get off to a pretty decent start in the group stage, at least finishing top four, because the road to TI from the lower bracket in this tournament is a long one. So essentially the top four teams from every single group will make up our upper bracket and the bottom two teams of each group will make up our lower bracket. Uh, there will not be any lower bracket matches until we have losers from the upper bracket dropping down. Uh, it is notable that there are no grand finals in this tournament. It is just going to be the last team standing in the upper bracket and the last team standing in the lower bracket that will be getting that direct TI invite, which means because there are no grand finals, no best of fives. Every single series in this main event will be a best of three. So obviously for the upper bracket, the road is much shorter, just three series wins needed to get to TI. However, if you're a team starting in the lower bracket, again, five series wins is what it's going to take in a row uh, to make it to TI. So again, even though um, you have a group stage and a double elimination bracket, it is pretty crucial that you get off to a hot start. You do not want to be one of these teams that has to start in the lower bracket. And again, that also means that the team that loses in the upper bracket finals will have a second direct opportunity to make a TI because they will be dropping down to the lower bracket to face off against whoever the last team standing from the lower bracket is at that point. And uh, yeah, so again, group stage is going to be run from October 8th to 9th. Main stage will be uh, October 10th to 12th. So it's going to be a lot of Dota in a very short period of time. And we will finally know which two teams will be attending TI. And so I pass the question off to you guys now. Who do you guys think are going to be the two teams coming out of this? Uh, I think looking at this just on a blank sheet of paper, group B maybe looks a little bit more stacked, although... You know, it is a group stage. We have seen crazier things. Some teams do very, very well in a group stage format. Some teams do not. And so it's going to be really interesting to see who ends up coming away uh, from these group stage, from this main event with an actual invite to TI, which will be starting just a few days after these last chance qualifiers. They're going to be jumping straight from this into the TI group stage. So... Very, very exciting. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Again, any extra information that you might want regarding this, mainly about the group stage schedule, which has been released, feel free to check out the link in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will be having my Talon TI-11 preview going up in a few hours from now. Be on the lookout for that, and I'll talk to you guys later.